Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Um, y'all just pray for me. I'm just going through some stuff right now, and I'm not going to, uh, uh, you know, spill a lot of uh, information or, or what it all is, you know, for for the other person. But um, I, I just want to say to anyone out there, you know, that's going through um, just obstacles in life that brings anger and that brings um, hate and that brings bitterness and that brings jealousy and that brings all this stuff all this stuff of the world that the uh, world conforms you to and conforms your mind with all this stuff you know uh, look jesus can take all that away jesus can take the hate he can take the bitterness he can take the anger he can take the lust he can take all this stuff he can even depression and people out there who have suicide thoughts you know all this stuff the sadness the anger the hate the bitterness all of it jesus can take it away i'm telling you you don't have to live with hate in your life you don't have to hate somebody you know that's going to be obstacles in life you know that that you're going to go through situations like that. you know somebody's going to hate you you know, and, you know, sometimes as a Christian, we got to make things right. OK, we got to reconcile things. We got to go to that person. And we got to tell them, look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the, all the things I've done to you, but I want to reconcile. I want to make things right. I don't want to hate in my heart. I don't want no, want no hate in your heart. You know, and we're not, we can't hate that person. You know, we, we got to love them. You know, we're supposed to, even, even if that person does so many things to you, it doesn't matter. Love that person. Come to that person with love. Come to that person with open arms. Folks, you don't have to live in the world with all of this inside of you. You can love, you can be happy. All this stuff that you come to that makes you like that. You can be above it. Jesus will raise you above it. You know, we live with him in our hearts. And we don't have to be conformed to that in this world. The world, the world, the enemy wants you like that, okay? Don't let them win. Don't let them transform you into somebody that you're not. Know who you are in Christ. Know who you are in God. And live above all the lies that the enemy throws at you. All the attacks that the enemy throws at you. Live above it. I'm telling y'all, it's not good to live in this world like that. Because when he cracks open that sky and you got bitterness, you got anger, you got hate, you got jealousy, you got depression, you got sadness. I understand some people, I don't, I don't, well, I'm not sure how, if some people, are, you know, have depression, but I can tell you who can take it away. The good man upstairs. And you don't have to live with that. You can live with abundantness and joy and love and happiness. And that's what I choose to do. I choose to honor God with all the stuff that I do. Even when I feel like that I don't want to do it. We have to trust and obey him. And I trust and have faith that he will bless me. Because I'm doing it in his honor. I just want to give a quick word out there that you don't have to live like that. You know, set Jesus into your heart. No matter what other people say about you. And live a good and happy life with him. Y'all stay blessed and have a good night.